here we are welcome back to the channel and we're gonna have a look at this week's daily race b time trial as usual go into support mode on the main menu from there you can access your daily races and we're going to concentrate on daily race b we're at fuji international speed run gr3 car and we're going to do a time trial lap to see if we can help you improve your grid position so we're going to select the car we're going to use the Huracan GT3. We're going to put the medium tyres on and away we go. Now one thing I will say about this car from the off, it's an absolute nightmare to drive. Horrible car. It just drifts and understeers and does everything that you don't want it to do. But it is probably the quickest car around the track unfortunately. So <laughs> we'll do what we can to try and get you further up the screen. So we said fairly decent lap time and we're going to come to the first breaking point which is in between the 150 and the 100 board. So just after the 150 board we're going to come down into first gear into this first corner and you can see that we actually missed the apex. In fact to make a bit of a hash of this first corner. We'll try and get the power down as early as we can but we end up overcompensating and get a bit of wheel spin. So not the best first corner. And as we come to the next breaking point it's between the 100 and the 50 board we're going to come down to third gear we're going to cut this left as much as we can to really utilize the track and use all the exit curb on the right hand side so on this right hand there we're going to just come off the throttle and come down to third gear we're not going to touch the brakes we're going to let the car rotate around and play with the throttle but you've got to stay as close to the right hand side as possible and as you see this little red mark on the right hand side there just between the 100 and the 50 we're going to come down to first gear, let the car rotate in, accelerate in second, and let the car drift out onto the kerb. A fairly decent exit there. This next section you just stay to the right hand side as much as you can to save a tiny bit of time. Let's come to the next bit as we come under that Dunlop sign. We're going to break in a straight line, break hard down to first gear, and again cut this corner as much as you can. Accelerate into first. We're not going to use the brake, we're just going to come off the accelerator, let the car rotate round, then shift into second. Next tricky section, as the grass ends there on the left hand side, we're going to apply about 50% of the brake, stay in second gear. The car may slide, you've got to be really, really careful with the throttle and the steering here. And as the curb ends on the left hand side, we're going to use 50% of the brake again, down to first gear, let the car just rotate round, accelerate in second. And use all the exit curb you can really abuse the curbs on this section here and just there as you see the marshals post on the left hand side we're going to try and brake as straight as possible down to first just to get that extra bit of rotation back into second and then on the accelerator as early as you can and drift out towards the edge of the curb on the left so that is a really really tricky section to get right um, easy to kind of brake too much and the car will just drift around so brake balance we set here at minus two to the front. You can see that will help you. We come across for 37.784, which is a fairly solid lap. It puts us P24 in the world at the time of recording. And my optimum is a 0.6. So that should put us um, a bit higher there towards, maybe towards the, the top 10. So fairly decent lap. Hopefully this will improve your position if you are struggling with this one it is a fairly difficult combo when i've looked from the chase camp and you can see this first corner missed the apex completely get an accelerator too early got a bit of wheel spin there having to correct it so the first set there was a 21.5 we've actually done 21.4 there so there's definitely uh, another tenth to gain but the rest of the, the lap is fairly decent so this right hand there we're going to let off the accelerator come down to third so let the cars want to take you around, play with the accelerator around there, stay to the right hand side as much as you can. Tight left hander, accelerating second. You've just got to use as much of the track as possible, especially in the last section, those last three corners where you can gain and lose so much time. So under the Dunlop Bridge there, hard down to second gear, look how much corner we cut. Pretty much all four wheels almost off the track. And these are the three corners we're talking about now. So, connect the car, drift in, tuck the brake, rotate around, be careful on the accelerator as well. 
Same for this left here, just about 50% of the brake. Let the car rotate in, easy on the throttle. And same again for this one. Horrible corners in this car. But I'm sure you'll soon get used to it. But let me know if this does help. If it does help you improve. Again, this is for daily race B. Um, I'm not even sure entirely how many laps this one is. But we just jumped on and did a time trial to see if we can help you guys. Um, as mentioned before, the brake balance is minus two to the front. That's very important. You don't want to add any more to the rear because the car will just come around every time you hit the brakes. So there you go. That's the lap. If you like that, like and subscribe to the channel. Where we do a lot more of these and we do the 2 million credit time trials. We've got some league racing on there and CTC Cup action. But for now, that's me done. Enjoy the replay. And I'll see you guys next time. Laters.